the thing about getting in shape is you have to have a reason. You have to have a why. Why? Right? It's it's not just so much as to say, oh, we're going to go try this new trend out. We're going to go try, you know, Orange Theory. We're going to go try CrossFit or we're going to go try, you know, one of these, you know, um, I don't even know, curves or whatever it is. Right. And I think curves went out of business, by the way. But it's not just this thing where you just go and you're it's like this little hobby or I got to go do this. It's like, no, this is something that you need to tell yourself that you're going to do, you know, a couple times a week. Say, you know, I'm going to do this three times a week for the rest of my life. I have to do this. I want to do this. I need to do this. And then you have to dedicate yourself to that routine and that ritual. It becomes part of your life. It's a ritual. You need to make that decision mentally before you even walk into a place. You need to say, I need something in my life that's going to make me feel better. That's going to distract me from all of the world's problems. And that's going to substantially increase my health and my well-being Help me live longer, healthier, feel better, not be all decrepit and in a wheelchair and sick and disease ridden when I'm in my 80s. And then dedicate yourself to that. You need to convince yourself and say, there's no, there's no other way around it. There's no other way around it. You need to convince yourself to the ritual, dedicate yourself to the ritual of waking up. Pick a time every day, like I'm going to make my make it a point to make it to this place. You have to dedicate the time and then tell yourself, this is what I'm going to do. That's just it. It's like, this is what I'm going to do now. Every day or every one, you'll pick, like I said earlier, pick one day, two days a week, three days a week. And you're like, I'm going to do this here and stick to it and stick to it. And that's it. And like, that's what you're going to do. You just, and then you trust the process. And if anyone out there needs help figuring out a good starting point, I would say find your local CrossFit training facility. I'd say go to CrossFit. CrossFit is, CrossFit is the most effective fitness program that ever existed. There's no better, faster way to get healthier on the planet Earth. I can say that with confidence. A lot of times people say things on the internet that, you know, it's like, well, you know, you can break it down. You can't break, you can't break this down. It literally is. The only other way is if you're doing something similar to CrossFit in combination with diet good nutrition and we can dive into that too nutrition um let's let's do that nutrition what is nutrition if you can't kill it or grow it it's not real food so i talk a lot about i talk a lot about oh the the tap water's poisoned oh meat uh, oh there's hormones in your chicken there's there's antibiotics in your chicken and and ssris in your food and your corn is gmo and all your vegetables are gmo and it's poisoning and it's genetically mutating your body and we're under attack and uh you know all this stuff but all i'm we need to make this clear i am not i am not fear-mongering What I'm doing is trying to make you aware of what is going on. You need to say, okay, I know now I know what's going on. How do I defend myself from this? And it's actually not that difficult. It's not that difficult. The way to protect yourself from all of the insanity that's going on. I'm not going to get into why it's why your government and corporations and food manufacturing companies and farmers and everyone is trying to kill you. I'm not going to get into that. That's a whole hour long thing, but how do you defend yourself? You defend yourself by being as close to nature as possible. 
So, for example, if I wanted to eat meat, what do I do? If I want to eat, you know, instead of getting it, my food from the grocery store, what do I do? Hunt my food. If you hunt your food, that is as close to nature as possible. So hunting is number one. You're not going to get and um, you're not going to get a better supply. So now I understand not everyone can hunt. I don't I don't hunt all the time. So what do you do? Find you have to do the research on the food you're buying from the from the stores. Excuse me. You have to do the research of the food you're buying. So look at the food, look at the ingredients, look at if it has hormones in it. It'll usually it says right on the package. Look and then you have to know what your food was eating. And again, that's not natural. If your food is eating, you know, your grains and stuff like that, that's not what that's not what cows eat in nature. That's not what elk eats. That's not what moose eat. That's not what caribou eat. That's not what you know what I mean? So it's like if they're being fed a spit, so so for example, chickens, large farmed chickens, they say are free range, right? And all it is is just a big open barn where they all live in each other's feces and 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 you know they all live together in a giant barn. So then they can call it free range. So what they do to those chickens is they feed them SSRIs. They put SSRIs, so antidepressants, in the food massive amounts of it because it makes the chickens fatter faster so they gain more weight right and now you have to think is that chicken is that even a happy chicken am i going to eat that poison toxic chicken and then here's another thing this and here's a big deal for people who pray before they eat when you pray before you eat you're not supposed to say Oh, thank you, Jesus, for my food and thank, you know, this person or so-and-so for making the money to get my food and all this and that. You're supposed to pray off all of the evil on that food. So forcing chickens to eat SSRI, you're, that chicken had a miserable life. You're supposed to pray off the evil that that poor chicken went through before you eat your food. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, and then who knows? There could be people that work at these factories that, um, you know, cast evil spells on the food. They could say, I hope every, you know, they could be doing some kind of ceremonies and like, who you you know how weird things are nowadays. There's all kinds of weird stuff going on. So, and that happens. That happens. Here's the funny part. That happens all the time. There's people that work in these these factories that pray over the food, um, you know, witches that pray bad spells over the food and hope it kills people and makes people sick. And then you wonder why there's cancer and stuff. If you believe in good and evil, if you believe in white magic and black magic, if you think that ghosts and aliens and all this supernatural, if any of you out there believe any of this, then what I'm saying should make 100% sen- sense to you. You should understand that. I I have no choice what to believe in it. You, you no one had you, you have to, you have to. And I don't want to get too far into religion, but you you just there's there's really no way around it. There's no way around it. There's a spiritual, there's there's so supernatural forces and there's good supernatural forces and bad supernatural forces and you can summon it. Think about um what's that book called um uh, Everyone, um, the secret. So what does it say in the secret? And all these people, they're always telling you, Matt, if you believe it, it will become real. If you manifest it, if you think it, if you speak it, it becomes real. And that is, couldn't be a truer thing I've ever heard. What you're doing when you believe it and think it and then speak it and then write it down, you'll hear all these entrepreneurial gurus and business gurus saying, write it down. Because you're literally casting spells. You're literally speaking it into existence. And when you write it down, you want to know the quickest way to stop a habit? Write it down. Say, look, write down very in very specific details. Say, like, I for 10 days, I am not going to eat any donuts. Write that down. Put it in front of you so you can see it once a day, wherever it is, on your dresser, in your bathroom, wherever, on your fridge, 
write that down. And then you're literally, you will not do it. Same thing with smoking cigarettes. But if it's something like a heavy addiction, I would, I would start small. I would do so for five days. And if you literally write it down, it will, you won't do it. Whatever the thing is, it's in, it's incredible. Try that out. So, um, that's pretty much it on nutrition and, um, you know, getting into the gym. It's not easy. And then, and then you have to think about people who you're like, well, I want to dedicate myself to this, but it's, it's expensive or, you know, I just can't budget it in right now. It's like, or I have kids or whatever. Like there's definitely ways you can do it. Um, so for me, I, when I started, when I started, I, had to cancel my internet i was like what's more important not internet but my uh, cable tv i was like what matters more my health listen when you're 60 okay when you're sick when you're in your 60s you're gonna you're what's you'd be you're gonna be willing to pay any dollar amount to be 40 again or 30 again, or when you're fi- any, if you're 15 years older, you're, you'd be, pe- you'd be willing to pay every dollar that you have to be 20 years younger. So that is what's more important. And that matters the most, not my cable, not what's on television. So when I started, I canceled TV. I stopped. And then I actually, that benefited me because I stopped watching TV. I haven't watched television since 2016. It's been forever. Um, and so that I'm not a, sounding like a total liar, I will watch on YouTube. I watch um, like Alaskan um, off grid people. I watch off grid campers. I watch like just kind of stuff like that, like survival stuff, like stuff that's for like that's real and not that doesn't have a agenda to it. So I don't watch anything outside of that. I'll watch, I will watch, sometimes I'll watch reruns of Always Sunny in Philadelphia. There's like a, there's a handful of shows I'll watch reruns of. I won't watch any of the new, I won't watch anything that's got propaganda in it, that's got political propaganda or anything like that. You you want to, if you, the easiest way to, to live life is to live as close to nature as possible. Really, even if you're not religious, say, what, how can I, how can I be more at peace? How can, how do I decide, you know, how do, you know, how do I get a mate? How do I get a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a husband? How do I do this? How do I do that? Think about how animals do it. Think about how animals live. Um, you know, or how we did it when before there was houses or anything like prehistoric humans. Like, how did they do things prehistorically? Because that's what you are. You're a, you, all you are is a pre, you are a highly intelligent Neanderthal. That's all you are. You're, st- you are in your, cr- nature is our, is our first everything. We're not supposed to be living in houses and condos and apartments and having refrigerators and toilets or none of that. That's why, um toilets um and sitting destroys your posterior chain it 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 makes you um your hamstrings and your butt and your low back weaker and that's why you end up in a wheelchair or a walker when you're older because you've been sitting your whole life and life goes by life goes by so fast that before you even know it you're old and you're in a wheelchair that's why you have to be present. You have to live in the present. You have to understand what's happening, what's going on. You're under attack, okay? So what do I need to do to protect myself from ending up miserable? Those are like the key. That's like the key to a lot of things. I wasn't planning on making this one so long, uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, you got some value out of it. I hope all of my content provides value for you. If my content is not providing value for you in any way, so whether it's educating, entertaining, um, you know, inspiring, uh, anything, 
if it's not doing any of those things, it will not hurt my feelings. If you do not subscribe, if you do not follow, if you unfollow, if you unsubscribe, it will not hurt my feelings whatsoever. In fact, it will help me because you aren't engaging with my content. So when you don't engage with my content, it sends me down the algorithm and then I don't get as many plays. So it'd be better if you unfollowed me, but I'm not asking you to unfollow me. I'm just saying, um, it won't hurt my feelings if my content isn't providing value or if you just don't relate to anything I'm saying, but I, it, you should be really, it's hard to relate to a lot of things I say, because I think so far outside the box that it's a learning curve to actually catch up to what I'm saying. And, uh, I have a lot of examples about that too, but, uh, I'm not going to get into a lot of that. I'm trying to, you know, I'm working on myself as well. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be able to engage with people in a way that not, uh, that's actually, uh, like I just said a minute ago, relatable. I need to be more relatable to people so that, so that they can learn better and trust me more. Uh, and that's about it. So metabolic AF, that's my brand. I got the hoodie on today. Can't really see it. And, uh, so I'm doing CrossFit training, personal training, uh, fitness specialist is what I call myself because that's what I am. Uh, and, I've been training people for since 2016. I don't know how many years that is. And uh, I've been training myself for longer than that. Uh, and that's what I do. That's what I'm doing. I have a couple multiple side businesses, but I'm always, I'm always, uh, you know, right now, right now is it's more important than ever to be the type of fitness specialist that I am because my purpose isn't just to make money and market and, you know, get people in shape. My purpose is to warn you that you're, you're, you're under assault. Okay. So everything around you is trying to kill you and to be prepared for that. And it's, it's just ironic that fitness is one of the, if not the top way to defend yourself from all of the toxins and poisons and chemicals and um, uh, social media, mainstream media, propaganda, social engineering, the emasculation of society, the reversion, the subversion of society, telling women they're men and men they're women and over and over and just punching you in the face with that. And uh, so to be fit and to be of sound mind and, you know, if you're punishing your body, I think this was David Goggins. If you're constantly punishing your body, your mind doesn't have time to wander. Your mind, your mind doesn't have time to sit there and wander. An idle mind is the devil's playground. That's why you need to just punish your body over and over and over again. It's, it's distracting your mind. And, 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 and the end result is you being a, a better person or injured. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to keep people injury free as well. And that's another, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother universe I want to actually, I wanted to actually get into that, the word safety and how dangerous that is for us and for society. But I'm not going to post that on my uh, fitness page. I'm going to post that on a, my other podcast, Bind Podcast. And uh, that's more kind of political. And I didn't start that until 2020 when I knew when no one else was sounding the alarm or ringing the bells on the complete and total apocalyptic brainwashing that was going on I I per, I it just came out of me and I started posting on Instagram and I, I had to get it out and to, to more people so I made a podcast I started filming myself 
and uh, started just showing people the evidence, the data, the verifiable, factual data about COVID and vaccines and here's what they're doing. Here's why they're doing it. I got a bunch of episodes that's on Odyssey. I had a bunch of episodes on YouTube and, but YouTube clearly is, um, they're in on the, on the social engineering. So they canceled that. They canceled that. I had, I had about 5,000 subscribers and growing every day. I was getting new subscribers every single day. And then they, you know, they noticed I was picking up and then they had to shut it down. So I had to move over to Odyssey and then Odyssey, there's just no, the algorithms don't work the same. You pretty much have to pay if you want to get, 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 get views because there is no ranking system. There's no algorithm for Odyssey. So, but uh, anyway, I'm going to post that, the, the, the safety, um, the dangers of safety being safe all the time on there so if you want to check that out go check that out but viewer discretion is advised on that because some of the things i say might hurt your feelings but some things they have to be said you know what i know is that i'm not lying i am grounded in moral virtues i have you know righteous intentions and truthful intentions and i'm not in this to harm anyone in any way so um so things come from my heart and um, my moral foundation. So hope you guys enjoyed that one. See you next time.